Hi, family. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you to the mental house. And I want to share a story with you that is just so inappropriate. It's just so um, sad. And it's just a good state of uh, contention about how sick we are uh, as a society and especially um, of people in uh, positions, the dominant uh, group and the exploits that they are allowed to um, perpetrate on the rest of the human family is just insane. Um, this story really bothered me and as far as I'm concerned it's a husband and wife and they, they both can have life in prison to me because this story just reeks of madness um, it, so um As y'all know, I just kind of lingering around for uh, that magic moment. However, I, I'm, I'm going to rock your world with this craziness right here. And what would you do if these were your children? Because uh, the madness just never stops. There was a school teacher in Louisiana who reportedly has admitted to lacing cupcakes with her husband's sperm and feeding them to students now faces a sentence of 41 years in prison. The Associated Press reports that Cynthia Perkins and her now ex-husband, Dennis Perkins, were both arrested in October of 2019 and charged with two counts of first-degree rape 60 counts of producing porn involving a juvenile under the age of 13 and with a slew of other child sex crimes. Children. Uh. Cynthia was reportedly a teacher in Livingston Parish while her husband Dennis was a Livingston Parish deputy, sheriff's deputy at the time of their arrest. See how they get all the jobs? <laughs> the new madness. According to WBRZ, Dennis was fired by the department after his initial arrest, and Cynthia resigned from her position as a teacher shortly after her arrest as well. Initially, the former teacher pleaded innocent to her various child sex crime charges, but now has reached a plea deal with the prosecutors and pleaded guilty to three of the charges on Monday. Uh, there is a sidebar. Cynthia Perkins accept last minute plea deal will testify against husband. Hmm, ain't that some shit. Today, Cynthia Perkins admitted to her crime and pled guilty in court. She not only waived any right to appeal and attempt to avoid conviction, but she also spared the victims of reliving her horrific crimes during this particular trial. Today's conviction is the best interest of our victims in justice. And I want to thank Assistant, Dish Assistant Attorney General Barry Milligan and Assistant Attorney General Erica McLennan, McLennan for their work in obtaining his guilty plea. And we look forward to holding Dennis Perkins accountable for his crimes in the near future. Her plea agreement, Cynthia reportedly admits that she assisted her husband in sexually assaulting a juvenile, helped her husband film a juvenile bathing, and also admitted to lacing cupcakes with her then-husband's sperm 
before feeding them to the children. Cynthia will also testify against her former husband as per the plea deal, according to Louisiana assistant attorney. These three charges we thought were representative of what she had done, and by agreeing to the facts as we put them out on the record, she prepared herself to testify against Dennis Perkins. Ain't that crazy? Cynthia reported the file for divorce from Dennis after they were both arrested, saying she was manipulated by him into committing these child sex crimes. Her attorneys reportedly maintained that Dennis was the mastermind behind the couple's criminal activity. He is the real monster. That's what she wants to make clear. It's not about shifting blame. She took responsibility today. I mean, that's what she did. But she looks forward to going after the real monster, one of the attorneys says. Prosecutors reportedly say the 60, 68 charges Cynthia did not plead guilty to will be dismissed. Let me repeat that to you. Prosecutors reportedly say that the 68, not 8, the 68 charges Cynthia did not plead guilty to will be dismissed. But she still faces 41 years in prison since a judge has set her sentencing date for Friday. Dennis Perkins, who maintains a not guilty plea for his charges, reportedly has his trial date set for May 9th, 2022. Oh my God. Um, I think I would have had to tell. I think I would have had to get away. Oh. Uh uh. Uh If I would have had to run to the police station. Uh uh. I'm sorry. What y'all think about this? Jesus Christ. Poor children. I hope ain't no disease <laughs> up in him. Uh, Doug, leave me your opinion for this sixth story, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.